take no more I keep on running back to you Alright, I'm gonna go eat now. <laughs> wow, that was good. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So let's let's just get straight into it. So what I'm using now is Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and just putting that in my crease. Then I'm just gonna, you know, sniff the palette. Then with the shade Puree, I'm gonna uh, focus that on the outer corner of my eyelids and be very, 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 very gentle with it. With that same palette, which I think I forgot to mention, it's the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, I'm going to get the shade Peaches and Cream and just put that on my inner corner to the middle of my lid. And then I'm just going to keep going back and forth from Peaches and Cream to Puree and just make sure that it's very seamless. Using the shade Tempera from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Renaissance? Renaissance? I am just going to put that on my brow bone, then I'm going to get the shade for me and just go over the arch area only, not all the way to the front of my brow. <laughs> yeah. Using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 310, I am just going to use the foundation and put it all over my face like any other foundation. I love this foundation for an everyday look. It gives a very nice amount of coverage, but it does not look cakey whatsoever. So yeah. Numero uno, yes. I'm so mad at myself that I only found this concealer now, but it is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, and I've heard so many people rave about it, but I just never thought to try it for myself. And I am in love with it, and I don't know how I could use any other concealer, like for reals. Another holy grail, I picked this up at the I'm at in Sydney and oh my god no regrets this is the best translucent powder that I own it is the RCMA no color powder and I, I love it so much it's so good um anyways I'm just using this to bake underneath my eyes cue singing and now very nice okay so now I'm just using Astralis fresh and flawless is that what it's called um Pressed powder in darkest brown. I just put this all over my face and then whatever's left, I just wipe away the bake. Very simple, very easy. Oh uh, yeah. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit is also another favorite of mine. I'm just using this to contour my cheeks. Uh, you know, give the illusion that I have a slim face, even though my face is kind of slim. I just have a big forehead. That's mainly what I contour is my forehead because like, come on. Is that really a forehead? <laughs> Five head. Now I'm just using NARS Orgasm Blush and putting that on my cheekies. Um, I'm just doing this to you know, make myself look a little bit more alive. Look like there's blood flowing. I always use MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter when I do want to do a very minimal kind of highlight look. It's so nice and glowy for like a natural daytime look, but it's not too much. It's honestly perfect. As always, I'm going to add the same highlighter to the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow, the usual. Now with the color Summer Yum from the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, whoop, tongue twister, I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line um, and yeah, that's, that's it. I have not done wing eyeliner in a, quite a while, <sighs> so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, but still, this took so long okay let me try to explain to you how i do it so i will draw a line on both sides of my eyes where i want the eyeliner to go once i'm satisfied with the eyeliner from about two millimeters from the tip of the eyeliner of the line i just drew i will drag um, my eyeliner brush down towards my eyelid and then i'll just make the black line thicker and thicker depending on how thick i want my eyeliner to be oh Okay, so if I don't think the end of my eyeliner is on fleek or on point enough, I will flip my brush around and then literally just flick it once I get to the end. And then it is sharp AF, trust me. Practice though, practice makes perfect, I promise. 
So once I coat my eyelashes with mascara, I'm going to put some falsies on. So what I'm going to do is place the falsies with some tweezers onto my eyelashes. Then I'm going to push down on the outer corner. Once that's secure, I'm going to move to the inner corner and push down until that's secure and then we're done. This is a Colourpop lipstick in the shade Magic Wand. Seriously guys, if you don't own any Colourpop lipsticks, you're really missing out. This is only $8 each, Australian dollars, so like get on it. So that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye! You look that much, oh baby you should go and let yourself